Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermiss Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermiss Fishing Tips. You know, we're out here in Queenston, Ontario, just the other side of Lewiston, New York. And uh, I don't know what to expect today, but I gotta tell you folks, I really don't care because it's January 12th and it's a record 12 degrees already out here today. And the river here is just loaded with bait fish and it's just a great day to be out on the water. I think I've seen more boats at the boat ramp today than I have all summer long. And we're almost in the middle of January, so this is an absolute bonus for me. I just love it being out here. So we're gonna head out. I'm with Antonio today. Like I say, there's all kinds of bait in the river. The birds are diving. We're gonna go to the mouth of the river and uh, hopefully hook into some trout. So stay tuned, folks. One way or another, we're gonna have a great show. What a nice hit. He just picked up that lure real nicely. Wow, that was fantastic. Now, I got my little bass net with me. Let me grab it here. He come out like a torpedo, folks. And he, he's one great big football. Oh, wow. One big football right there. Oh, lighten up my drag here as I get closer to the boat. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is great. Middle of January. Unbelievable. Just being out here. Oh, here he is here. Coming up. There he is there. Oh, what a nice fish. Oh, look, there he goes back down again. This is, this is going to be challenging with this little bass net, but I love my little bass net. You know that. Oh, there he is. There he is, folks. There he is right there. Get him in the boat. My goodness. Oh my. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh. Look at that. Oh. That's what coming out here in January is all about. Actually, a little bit of silver color there, but this is actually a nice brown trout, folks. That's not a rainbow. I thought it was a rainbow at a glance there, but. That's a beautiful brown trout right there. Silvery color, but you can tell by the square tail and the and the dots on them, that's all brown trout right there. Wow. I'll show you what I'm fishing here, folks. What I've got, as you know, my favorite swivel, three-way swivel, the T-turn right there, Thundermiss T-turn swivel, going down to a Thundermiss walking sinker right there. And the reason for the walking sinker is this is just gonna walk over top of the rocks and over top of the structure, and it keeps me tangle free which is excellent out here because there's a lot of rocks and structure out here on the bottom. And then uh, I'm about two feet to a sinker and about two and a half feet here to a, looks like a broken lure. <laughs> I had a minnow imitating lure there, a uh, gold color, which looks like it broke on me, so I have to replace that. And I'm running gold because the water here is a little bit murky. It's been windy and it's windy today again, and it's been actually raining, uh, melting all the snow that we had recently. The water's a little brownish and uh, very, very murky. And gold actually has better reflective qualities under these dark, murky conditions than silver does. So I'm going to see if I can hook up with another uh, gold uh, minnow imitating lure. And basically all I'm doing is dropping that right down to the bottom. And the key here is, and people ask me all the time, how heavy of a sinker should I use? Well, it all depends on how deep you're fishing and how fast you're moving. And out here, we've got the river taking us out. We've got these strong southwesterly winds moving us, so we're moving pretty quickly. But because we're fishing shallow, 18 to 20 feet of water, um, I can get away with two ounces here. But three ounces would probably be a little bit better if we went a little deeper. But two seems to be, uh, seems to be doing it right now. So if the winds pick up a little more, I'll bump up to three. And if we go deeper, I'll bump up maybe even to, uh, to four or to six. But uh, for right now, two ounces doing it. I gotta actually get that lure changed up, but that's all we're doing. Drop the line down, feel that sinker. As long as that sinker's maintaining bottom contact as you're drifting, that's the key. And if you lose bottom contact, you don't feel it anymore, just let out a little more line and let that sinker get back down there again. And then that walking sinker will just walk along the bottom. You can, you can just feel it walking along the bottom there as your lure's working, it's a great system. I love it. Back in I go, I gotta get re-rigged though. Well, you know what folks, the winds have really picked up. 
They gotta be 30, 35 kilometers at least out of the south southwest right now. You know what, catching that one fish was a pure bonus for me. I just loved it being out here in the middle of January on my boat. And the beauty is the weather's gonna turn back to normal in a couple days and we'll be out ice fishing probably in about two to three weeks. Okay, maybe four weeks. But uh, today was a pure bonus catching that fish. I loved it. We're gonna tuck into the river where it's a little bit calmer and still spend some more time on the water. But in the meanwhile, folks, I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing.